Didn't you know that the biggest cargo plane in the world is an animal? It's called a beluga, which is a whale. So that means I'm going to fly a whale. Not the plane. The country? Wait, even I'm confused right now. Either way, it's super fast. And big. Damn. to another episode of RC Park here in Roblox. It's been a while since we were last in this game, but they've enticed your boy back right now with a brand new update. Now, if I see a game implement this plane, you know damn right I'm going to be playing it right now. And they've added a brand new update, which includes a brand new plane, which is the big boy Airbus A330 Beluga. I think I said that right. Um, I'm excited for this because there's not many cargo planes in this game. I actually don't know if there's any cargo planes in this game. This might be the first. I'm not 100% sure. But we got to check it out. Now, I think somebody over there is currently flying the Beluga right now. Damn! It's a big boy, the Beluga XL. And I pretty much want to do the same right now. I want to see how nimble it is, how crazy it's going to be. Let me spawn the plane. Let me find the Beluga. So categories, planes. Uh, Airbus A330. Okay, it's not there. Is it in Beluga? It's not here. Where is it? There is so many planes to pick from right now. Is it maybe at the right at the bottom? Oh, did I see a DC-10? Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh, an MD-11. Oh, that's even more beautiful right now. Uh, there it is. The Airbus A330 Beluga Baby XL. It is huge. A little bit too big, if you ask me. A little bit too big. Now, if I get my controllers ready, right, and I change the view to the plane, and we in kind of now uh, turn... How do I... I forgot how to control this, by the way. I forgot how the controller works. So, controls enable. Engine enable. How do I move the engine? What happened? What have I just... I just pressed the button right now. It's completely despawned it. I've literally forgotten how to fly the plane. I really have. Right, change the view. Here's the plane right now. Are you going to go, plane? Are you going to go? Oh, there we go. Now I remember how to fly it. Now I remember how to fly it, boys. So we're going to slow this puppy right down a little bit because we're going a little bit too quick, if you ask me. And we're going to taxi to the end of the runway. Now, weirdly, you can't turn it. Oh, you can turn it, which is pretty good. Right, drop that down slightly. We're going to taxi very slowly, which is hilarious right now, to the end of the runway. Now, look at the size of this beluga. It is absolutely big. Hold on, let me move my dude away from where he's currently at. I'm standing in, inside of the the thing, which is making me change. Oh my goodness me, what's happening here, boy? Control. There we go. Right. Let me get to the end of the runway, and then we'll try and take off. Now, obviously, I am controlling a radio remote control plane right now, which is kind of hilarious. And it does become a little bit tricky to try and maintain. But we're able to do it. Full turn. Right, I don't quite think we're going to get to the runway, guys. So we might just have to kind of deal with it for a second. Hold on, this might work. Right, we got there in the end. We got there in the end. Right. Here's the beluga, boys. The biggest cargo plane in the world right now with a big head. And it's absolutely amazing. And for the first time ever, we're now about to take off. Where did you come from? Excuse me. Why are you appearing here, you damn fool? Get out of my face right now, you damn fools. Get out of my face. Right. Power up. We're going to try and get... Oh, 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 oh. Landing gear down. Right. That got into the air a little bit quicker than I was expecting. Oh my goodness me. We are flying a beluga, boys. It is running way too smooth. I have never pl fly planes this good. We should try and come in for a landing, right? How nimble is it? Can I do the world's first beluga barrel roll? I've only just gone and done the world's first beluga barrel roll. What about the world's first beluga loop-de-loop? -loop? I've just done the world's first beluga loop-de-loop. -loop. Now, 
Make of that as you will. We're going to try and come back in again right now for a beautiful landing. Oh, I almost crashed. I almost crashed. Right, bring the speed down slightly. Apply the landing gear. And we're going to come in for a beautiful landing right now, boys. A beautiful landing. Now, it is slightly inverted controls. We've got to try and remember that. But I'm going to come in. Easy, easy. It's not going to be the world's best landing, but... Oh! Did I just butter a beluga? Did your boy just butter the beluga right now? I think I did. Right. Full steam ahead. We're going to take off. Remove the landing gear. And we're going to go vertical. <laughs> Have you ever seen a, ver a vertical beluga? It's so vertical right now, boys. It's now starting to turn and come back down. Uh, excuse me. I said vertical. I said vertical right now. Now, we are gaining dramatic altitude. Right? We're gaining dramatic altitude right now, which is hilarious. But more importantly, right, we're losing signal and battery life, which I find even more hilarious. But let's go even higher. Right. You can't maintain. Okay. Maybe we can if we kept it like this. All right, easy. Easy. How many feet can we go? Can you see the altitude at the top right now? We're nearly closing in on 3,000 feet, which is not really that high in the grand scheme of things. But we're trying to see oh, our signal. Alert. This is radio controlled, so you can't go too far or you do lose signal. The screen is getting a little bit fuzzy right now as the signal slowly disappearing. We're at 4,000 feet. Oh, goodness me. When do we lose signal? At 5,000, maybe? 5,000. Oh, we're getting close. We And we've completely lost control. We've completely lost control of that plane. I don't know where it is. I don't know if we'll ever see it again, boys. Now, obviously, if I change the view... I can't even change the view to the plane. We have lost... We have completely lost. I can try and make... I can't even make it again. Control... Bring that down. It might still be... Oh, the altitude of the plane is dropping. So it might come back into view at some point. Hold on. View. Yeah, it's coming straight back down. Oh, good God. It's coming. Can I still control it? I can. <laughs> so I flew it out of complete control into the sky. And then out of nowhere, it falls back down once I reduce the power. Back to a point where I can then gain or regain control of it. Now, we're coming down like a spaceship right now. It's actually falling pretty fast. And I wonder if I can butter this landing. We've got no throttle on whatsoever. But we do have a 91 speed. But I wonder what this kind of landing could now ensue. So, we're going to try and turn. Easy. We're going to bring it in. Bring it in, boys. Ooh. Okay, you ready for this? Ow. That really hurt. Okay, that was not the greatest of landings, but at least we managed to regain control back of our beluga. Now, we can change our flying locations. We've got the RC field, which will go there first, but we also have an RC track as well where we can maybe race the beluga or something like that. I'm not too sure. But here, we have a bunch of obstacles. Now, I'm not sure how the beluga is going to go with this. It's not really a plane made for this kind of stuff, but it should be pretty fun, boys. It should be pretty fun. So let's gain control of it. Let's change the view. Let's up the throttle. And let's take off. Right, maybe a bit more throttle. Maybe we need a bit more throttle. Work up the speed before anything else. Right, we're now flying. So this little kind of track right now allows you to kind of fly through these little obstacles. But this beluga is not made for any of this stuff. You see? No, I can't control it as nimble as like a normal plane, but I can do all kinds of loops, which is pretty crazy. Right, it was not made for this area, boys. It was not made for this area. Let me change it to the racetrack. Now, the racetrack is literally what it says. It's a racetrack. So if I now spawn the plane again, right, where the blue go, there you go, boys, spawn you in, spawn you in. Uh, grab my controls, turn everything all on, change the view. There we go. It is actual, actually a racetrack, boys. So you could race the plane. Let me up the speed. 
Right. <laughs> I'm failing all over the place right now. Right. Take off, boy. Take off. So, without going too fast, you can utilize this racetrack to race people. Look at me. Maybe the Blue Luger is a pretty good racing plane. Let me go full throttle. Now, I've got the landing gear still enabled in case we do bounce on the ground. But there is a sharp turn coming up right now. So, okay, I've just crashed. Okay, maybe it's not this good. Maybe it's not as good as I'm thinking right now. So, let's just mayday it all and just change our flying location and go back to the, uh, the model airport. The only place it's actually good for. Yes. Hilarious, right? Hilarious. So, let me respawn it back in this big, beautiful beluga. Bam. There we go, boys. There we go. And we're going to get ready. So, can take, well, actually take control. Right, there we go. Um, we're going to go full throttle. Actually, do I go full throttle? It doesn't take much to take off. It takes about 40 airspeed to take off. And that does exactly what I need it to do. Look at me fly. Now, I don't think there is anywhere else on this map you can pretty much go. And... I think 120 is the max speed a beluga can go. So I think you're ultimately just limited by your radius. So how easy is it to fly the beluga upside down? I reckon it's just as easy. How low can I get to the ground? So low, I'm now stuck upside down. Right, flip. There we go. Right, have I lost controls? I've hit trees. <laughs> right, I might be the world's worst pilot. But let me see how low I can go. How low can you go? How low can you go? Whoa! Right, belugas should not be able to do this. They should not be able to do this. Right, let's come in for a glorious landing. And then we're going to load this up with cargo. And make some serious cash money moolah. So turn it right round. Perfect turn. Right, we're going to come in for a nice little sideways land. I managed to get in one more barrel roll before I completely flop the plane to the ground. Right, I will admit it. I'm not the greatest pilot, but that doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter. Let me know what you guys think of this big, beautiful beluga in the comment section down below. Uh, but I think I should retire from this game. Clearly, I am not a good pilot. Until next time, I will see you all soon. So goodbye.